happening today. A new effort to bring more public play spaces to Western New York is kicking off. It's round two of the Play Everywhere Challenge, an effort supported by the Ralph C. Wilson Jr. Foundation and the national nonprofit Kaboom. So joining us this morning to talk more about it is Brian Pilarski. He is the executive director of the Seneca Babcock Community Association. Brian, thanks for joining us this morning. Start by telling us what this challenge is all about. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Um, the challenge is about creating creative play spaces in everyday areas like bus stops or uh, vacant lots, places where kids have, they, communities have these areas in their community but lack play spaces like physical parks for recreation. So nine projects were approved last year. Can you tell us about the one that you guys are getting the grant for? Correct, yes. Yeah, so we are one of nine in Western New York. This uh, fund from the Ralph C. Wilson Foundation in Kaboom, it uh, covers Southeast Michigan and Western New York. We are one of nine in Western New York that received a grant for 2018. And we're putting in a nano golf uh, uh, course. We, we came up with the idea from Larkinville. We talked to the Zemskis, and I liked what they did down in Larkinville. Yeah. But I thought, how do we expand that? So we're putting it in vacant lots throughout the Seneca Babcock community. And it's a walkable course, like you would a golf course if you were to go to, you know, uh, Briarwood or something like that. Okay. So you're walking through the Seneca Babcock community playing putt putt golf. Cool. And then there's fun crosswalks in between the courses on the side street. So is it kind of spread out a little bit? It is. It's a 1.5 mile walkable course from one end of the community to the other. Wow. It starts at our community center where you pick up your club and play the first hole. Nice. You walk the community and then you finish at our new community center that we're scheduled to open in May um, and turn in your golf club there at hole 18. Cool. That's and awesome. It sounds like you guys are really highlighting those areas that maybe don't have something there right now. Exactly. And that's the whole point of this uh, challenge right here is to turn bus stops, sidewalks. Um, it's no secret that Buffalo's park system, you know, these pocket neighborhoods have aged parks. Yeah. Um, so this is a way where if you're just waiting for the bus, how to get physically active or to do a hopscotch to a garbage can and slam dunk the garbage and Cute. kind of creating safe places for kids to play. Let me ask you, what does this mean having this grant come from Kaboom and the Ralph C. Wilson Jr. Foundation? I, I think it's great. Um, you've got two organizations to where, where they're not working in silos. Right. Uh, the Ralph Wilson Foundation wants to bring play. They have eight steps, part of their initiative, um, overall initiative. And they see what Kaboom's doing, and instead of recreating a wheel, they partnered up and teamed up with Kaboom and said, hey, let's earmark some of this money for um, our areas where we focus on, Southeast Michigan and Western New York. So it actually gives organizations like myself a better chance because Kaboom is national. So right. this now earmarks some money towards our area. So let's say some other organizations might be interested. What do they have to do or who can apply for this? Yeah, so if you go onto Kaboom's website, kaboom.com, and you look under Built to Play, uh, applications are being taken uh, starting today, and they're due March 22nd. Nice. And anyone could apply. Uh, you could be a municipality, a nonprofit organization, Boy Scout troop, a block club, a group of people just coming together. And uh, this is open to the public. Fine. Brian, thank you very much. Congratulations to you. Uh, hoping for the best, and so is the community. 